Provider, Chief Executive of NHS Providers. Let's speak to the Director in England of the Royal College of Nursing, Mike Adams. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I mean, would your members uh, echo, do you think, a lot of what we just heard there from Chris Hobson? 100%. Um, we're hearing exactly the same from our frontline staff. Um, and uh, our members that are senior nurses as well within, within the health system, they're under intense pressure uh, at the end of an incredibly stressful and hard year. Um, the Im Im implications of the virus continuing to spread at a point uh, where we are at the busiest time of year or approaching the normal busiest time of the year, when our members would say we barely cope anyway, uh, is significant and really worrying to people. Uh, your point being that... December, January, January, I think in particular, is a very difficult time for the NHS in, in normal times with flu and, and so on. What would your members say ne needs to happen what, to, for, them to, for them to keep going and for them to keep providing services? Well, I, I think that the main ask at this moment in time from our members is to the wider, the wider members of public around decisions they make over the Christmas period. Um, we, you know, every... Every winter, we highlight the pressure on the health service. I remember doing uh, interviews like this in January around corridor nursing, which is, is totally inappropriate in a, in a modern world. Uh, and, and this year, we have a, a pandemic on top of that. So our members are really clear that they want people to take this seriously. That there will be a real temptation to mix. We, we, the rule of three families can be can be interpreted in lots of different ways. But the, the facts are, the more people that mix, the more this will spread the more people that will get seriously ill. Um, and as well as putting pressure on the health service, that, that are, that's people's lives that are being seriously affected. And what about the impact as well on what we would call regular nursing, routine appointments, routine surgery, but things, we, we, we use the word routine, but this is about people's quality of life. Things like hip replacements, knee replacements, all those operations which can really change the quality of someone's life, but are, are perhaps being delayed. It is, and I, you can't underestimate the significance of this, and we, we would never seek to um, underestimate that. Um, I, I, this has been as hard for nurse, the nursing profession to have to tell people. It's often been nurses that are ringing people to say a treatment or an investigation can't go ahead. That, that has an emotional burden for, for the people that, that are being told this information, but all the, also the nursing staff themselves. So it, it, it is a, an awful situation. There's no getting around that. Um, I think what we need to bear in mind ultimately that the reason that these decisions are having to be made is because of this virus. And whilst this virus continues to rise, continues to grow and spread, those are the decisions that will have to be made because frankly, there are not the staff to do all of the work. Mike Adams from the Royal College of Nursing.